Distinguished guests, the President of the United States, accompanied by Gotham Championship Captain and Team Ambassador Ali Krieger. Daddy, you didn't tell me the president was going to talk to me. Please, have a seat. Well, good morning. For the first time, for the first time in National Women's Soccer League history, welcome to the White House of the 2023 championships, the Gotham FC. It's so good to be joined by so many friends from New York and New Jersey. Team owners, the Tish family. There you go. God love you. We go back a long way. <laughs> and led by Caroline. And, uh, and the, team, the f fellow team governors and investors, Ed, as well as the great Sue Bird. Was here a few years ago to celebrate Seattle Storm's WNBA championship, and she's simply incredible. <laughs> no, you are. Hey, what, man? I also want to thank the founding team owners, good friends of mine, the Murphys, and particularly Tammy, to continue this, uh, the, to be the champions for women's sports. They couldn't be here today because they're representing the great state of New Jersey on a trade mission abroad. But I also want to. Thank New Jersey's newest United States Senator, George Helmley. Where is George? Where is George? Thank you, George. George, you don't get to take the trophy home. <laughs> and of course, a special thanks to the incredible players. You know, One thing is clear, this organization is no stranger to adversity. In 2022, Gotham placed last in the entire league. There were doubts about turning things around, but you never gave up. You never gave up. And you kept the faith, as my mother would say. You retooled the roster, hired a new coach, something clicked. And after a tough season, you were in the final team to make the playoffs. But the saying goes, winners simply win. Back-to-back -back playoff wins, holding North Carolina and Portland scoreless. And then beating Seattle to win it all. The new Tiffany Trophy is won at a new home now in Gotham. Look, just yesterday, you clinched the playoff spot, so maybe you'll be back here next year. <laughs> now, if you are, I won't be president, but ask if I can come and listen. <laughs> What's really important is your championship win also set an attendance record. I think it's fair to say everyone, everyone watches women's sports. Yeah. It's a big job time. I got some All-State soccer players as well as a goalie, as well as uh, uh, lacrosse champions in my family. And uh, by the way, in my family, we have a, an advantage. All the women are smarter than all the men, <laughs> including me. When we look, and when fans watch you play, they also see the power of the example off the field as well. It matters. I really mean it. You lead the way in providing sports medicine and health care focused on women. My wife is deeply involved in trying to make sure there's enough attention paid and research done on women's diseases as men. As a matter of fact, we're going to the United Nations after this to make that very case. You helped establish the Players Association, fighting for the dignity of work all across the league. And most powerful, I'm, you know, I get 
I get categorized as the most pro-union president of American history. I am, and I approve what you're doing, man. <laughs> you know, and your teammate Midge came to the White House of the U.S. Women's National Team to highlight the campaign and equal, for equal pay. That's happening, too. Matter of fact, it's going to get unequal. You're going to be paid a hell of a lot more, I think. <laughs> but let's be clear, and I mean this sincerely. I was raised by my best friend in the world, my sister. She's, she, anyway, won't get into all that, but, <laughs> you know, I mean this sincerely. A woman can do anything a man can do, anything a man can do, including being president of the United States. Yeah. Let me close by thanking you all. You represent our nation with such dignity. You inspire all of us, and you really do. You're an inspiration. I, think, I bet you when you can't walk down the street in your hometown without some young girl coming up to you just wanting to talk to you, just wanting to touch you, just wanting to hold your hand. It's amazing. And congratulations to the Bats of Gotham. Are you like being called the Bats of Gotham? <laughs> the so damn beautiful. The Batty Batties. <laughs> I like that. Look, I'm going to turn it over to the top bat. No, the top. <laughs> Tally. Last year's team captain, who, by the way, I watched in 2015 win the World Cup in, uh, when I was vice president in Canada. Allie, it's great to see you again, kiddo. The floor <laughs> is yours. Thank you. They're, they're warm for you, so, yeah. Um, Mr. President and esteemed guests, thank you for hosting Gotham FC, the reigning NWSL champions. We are deeply honored to be the first NWSL team to receive this recognition, marking a pivotal moment for women's sports. Firstly, I have to thank my teammates for their grit and perseverance to enable us to be the champions standing here today. <laughs> Starting the 2023 season, coming off of the last place finish, from worst to first, <laughs> nobody backed this team to do what we did. Reflecting on my career, I recall times when women's soccer lacked coverage and support. Our progress since those days have been remarkable, from our humble beginnings to becoming champions. Both Gotham and the NWSL have seen tremendous growth, with more fans, greater engagement, and increased recognition. Yet despite these strides, we are reminded that our work is far from over. Every time we step on the field, we think of young girls who dream the future in sports. This moment is not just about titles or trophies. It's about paving the way for them. Being the first is historic, but it's even more important that we ensure we are not the last. We all know that we are committed to build on this momentum for future generations. As a token of our appreciation and commitment to advancing women's sports, we are delighted to present you with a Gotham FC jersey. We expect you to be wearing that under the suit soon, okay? Yeah, great. <laughs> On behalf of my exceptional teammates and the entire organization, thank you again for this incredible honor for and for supporting the growth of women's sports. All right. Thank you. You know, I thought when I got to be president, I'd get to do things that I want to do, but my staff tells me what I can't do. <laughs> but I'm going to do it anyway. All the young women, young kids out there that are out there, come on up and do this for me. Stand behind me when we do this. Come on. And the guys. Yeah. 
So our head coach, Juan Carlos Amoros, and the, the championship 2023 MVP, Midge Purse. Thank you.